Um, the Yankees are currently playing in the American League Championship Series with their hated, hated, mm-hmm. hated, 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 hated. Mm-hmm. I can't say this enough, rivals. Um, they are currently tied at one in the bottom of the fifth, and um, Houston is threatening. Um, just keeping you guys up to date. But we know that this series is one that we all kind of saw coming when the um, playoffs were aligned and the Yankees are going to play the Indians. I don't think anyone really believed the Indians were going to win, even though they had a 2-1 lead in that series. But we all, this is the series we want to see above all. Yep. What, what, what are your takeaways or what do you foresee happening in this series? And do you think the winner of this series is going to end up winning the championship? Well, I don't know about the World Series yet because I'm not going to, you know, jump all the way ahead because the Padres or Phillies, they, they're they playing lights out and they have a good chance. They're tied, they're, they're tied at one, series, by the way. The, the Padres the way, tied, right? they tied the series at one. Yep. The thing with the Yankees and Astros, I just feel – I'm going to go with the Astros just to get it out of the way. And I'm going to go with the Astros because they live rent-free in the Yankees' head. Right? <laughs> every time – dude, literally. every time the – Fan, Yankee fans talk about the Astro. They always want to bring up the fact that they were cheaters. They want to bring up the fact that, you know, uh, Altuve stole Aaron Judge's MVP from 20, what, 17 to 2018. And I'm like, okay, yeah. So let's say they did cheat, but they went back to the World Series last year. Yeah. And they've been, they've been consistently and they've in the been hunt. winning and they've always been consistently a good playoff team and they make the playoffs every single year. Mm-hmm. Right. So just off of that emotions alone, I'm going to go with the Houston Astro. But the main thing that I feel like the Yankees, they have to fix is that they just live and die with the home run ball a little bit too that's much. All, that's all they do, bro. That's all they do, right? So <laughs> baseball to me, and I've always said baseball is about two things. Actually, I'm going to steal this from Peter Gammons, right? He said baseball is about power pitching and manufacturing runs, meaning Small when you guys aren't hitting home runs, can you get the runner from first to second, from mm-hmm. second to third doing these little things? And can you get that's them home lit- on a fly ball? On a that's foul- literally what postseason is. If you watch postseason baseball, the, the scores ain't nine to ten. No, it's not seven to eight. Most it's times pitching. it's like three to four. It's pitching, pitching yeah, pitching, right. Yeah. So with that being said, like the Yankees, they just depend way too much on the home run ball. What? Um, uh, Aaron Judge went a two game stretch where he went zero for eight with seven strikeouts. So you I can't see. you can't get a base hit, my man. <laughs> It's all or yeah. nothing with you, mm, right? Yeah. So I'm going to just go with the Houston Astros just, just based on these factors. Um, I think the Astros are going to win. Um, I think they're the, they're way – they're such a way better team. Like their position players are better at just about every position outside of maybe where Aaron George plays. But even where Aaron George play, Aaron Judge plays, Yardani Alvarez, you know, the, the 24-year-old on Houston mm-hmm. is just a freaking monster. He's an MVP candidate as well. Yeah. He's been fantastic all year. Um, they have better pitching. The Yankees, yeah. we know, yep. you know, Garrett Cole is their guy. He's their ace. And if he's off, which he's had a history of, you know, sometimes. He's, he's off he a lot, yes. He doesn't show up sometimes in the big games. If that's going to be your ace that you're going to count on against, you know, Justin Verlanders and, you know, those those guys in Houston, I think that's a bad, you know, recipe for 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 success for the Yankees. Um, again, like you said, I just don't think they could manufacture runs. And the Astros have the pitching to neutralize the home runs. If Jan Carlos is not hit, you know, Jan Carlos in the series against the Indians, he had two home runs. Those were his only two hits of the series. Crazy. Like, that's ridiculous. How that's are you crazy. hitting? Piece of famine, yeah. Like, it's like, that's all. If you don't hit a home run, you're not going to be productive. Again, those home runs were big because they essentially won the Yankees the game in the series. Yeah. But again, the next round means you're playing a better team. And the Astros are the best team left. And I think whoever mm-hmm. wins this series, um, assuming that I, it's going to be the Astros like I'm predicting, mm-hmm. I think they're going to win. I think the Astros are going to win the championship. And the Yankee fans are not going to like it because they've been saying, Astros only won because they they were cheaters and they lost, you know, when they were time for them to, to play without the whole cheating scandal. And if they win now, there's really nothing you can say about that. You got to let that and go. And Yankees, like, you guys had tons of players that cheated before. Oh, so let's, let's, let's stop this crap, man. Yeah. All right. Uh, two quick points. Um, one, what do you think about people saying that it's bad for baseball that all these hundred win teams are not making it far or into the World Series? So do you think it's bad that they're not making them because they're 100 uh, win teams or be, or it's bad because they're bigger market teams not making it to the World Series. 
No, I think I think they're I think people are overreacting. Um, why is it bad that a team doesn't play well in October? That's not. I mean, my Mets, who won 101 mm-hmm. games, stunk when it mattered the most. How is that bad for baseball? That's bad for the Mets because the Mets stunk when it was time for them to play. Max Scherzer makes 43 million dollars a year, and he couldn't deliver in two games for the Mets. It- it's bad. You know, it's great for baseball when these teams win, but business-wise, it's bad for baseball because everything is about revenue, market share, and ratings. If we have a World Series where it's Yankees versus Dodgers, that's going to be the highest-rated World Series. So we should just time. get that every year, Yankees and Dodgers. No, I'm just, no, I'm just saying. No, I, I can understand why people. So do you think it's more of the playoff structure that they should change? Because I don't like the best of five. I, I I'm not gonna lie because I haven't been watching baseball as much as I did growing up. I forgot the first like. Who rounds with best of five? Yeah, the first round. Either- well, that's the thing, though. Baseball is is probably the easiest sport to win a championship in. And I'll say that because you can, yes, two rounds and you're in a championship. You win the first first series is best of five. If you win your division, you're going to get a first round by. You don't got to play on the wild card. You're playing in a divisional series. Best of five. You win three games, you're in the championship series. And that's best of seven. You get like you get hot enough or you're good enough and you win that seven game series, four games. You're playing for the championship. So real t- real talk, NBA need to go back to that. NBA, right? Remember when the first round was best of was five? five. Yes. Three games NBA. The Lakers were sweeping the Blazers every freaking year because they were winning the first three games. So every year, I, the best of five was fire. I think the reason why I say it's not bad for baseball is because I don't want people to start messing with the formats just to, like, this is what, it, like, how do, like, the, the, the um, Phillies won 87 mm-hmm. games. Did they, the Mets and Braves both won 101? The Phillies won 87 games. They snuck in as the wild card, even though they did not play well down the stretch. They just happened to get the wild card spot. They got hot at the right time in wild card weekend. That's all it is. And now they're playing for the you know to go to the World Series. So that's I think it's just about handle your like if the Mets beat the Braves one of those two times in Atlanta in that last series before the playoffs, they win the division. Right. And they don't have yeah. to play on wild card weekend. And they they like you. I think again. I saw um, Buster Olney, and I think somebody else posted some scenario. I think, was it Buster Olney, I think? It might have been, yeah. How they can fix, you know, the format by letting teams who win their division be able to pick if they want to play. Or I'm like, Come so you're telling me the, the, the Braves lost because they were off for too long? Well, what's the Mets excuse? The Mets played all those games, and they won the same amount of games, and they couldn't get it done in October. So I, I don't know. I don't know how to I, – I hate when they start messing with all these things because it's like – you're changing the history of, of the game. And now it's like, well, do all championships, are they all equal? If you're telling me that, you know, this team has to, um, this team just has to um, be able to pick if he plays or not. Even yeah, though, that's crazy. That's come ridiculous. on, bro. Look, like, change, change is always needed in certain aspects of the game. Change is always needed, especially where how we're advancing more with technology. Like, mm-hmm. I'm happy baseball has a replay uh, system where, uh, they can make the correct calls in the critical yeah, times of the game. Yeah. You know, like I remember watching the football game one time where I think it was Jets versus Dolphins and Dan Marino dove over the uh, the huddle and he was a yard away <laughs> from the end zone and they ended up winning that game. They call touchdown? They, they call touchdown. And a simple <laughs> replay would have been like, dude, you was two yards behind the end close. zone, you right. know? So right. it's important that we have these changes if it's going to affect the game, but Telling the team that, yo, you can choose if you want to play in the first round. That's ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Just handle your business, bro. And oh, also, uh, hold on. One, one, one more thing. Go Let's ahead. put some respect on Dusty Baker. Oh, with the Astros? Yeah. Like, I'm rooting on, for like, Dusty, bro. That man That man is a winner, man. Yeah. He did it. And he did it in Washington. He did it. Um, He did it with, San the, with, with San Fran, even though they didn't mm-hmm. win it. I, I, yo, you don't know how bad I wanted the, the Giants and Barry Bonds to win that 2002 World Series, man. Yeah, against Game the Angels, seven, right? Yeah. The Angels mm-hmm. the, with, with David Eckstein, Eckstein and, <laughs> and those guys. Um, I, I, the I damn think, rally monkey. <laughs> <laughs> the rally monkey. Yo, I think Dusty Baker has been a phenomenal manager. I cannot believe. Well, I can believe it because the Mets are the Mets. The Mets didn't even interview him for their job when mm-hmm. they had an opening. Um, and he went to um, Houston and ended in a good spot. He's he's arguably one of the greatest managers we've seen in the last 20 years because he's done it. He's been in the championship game everywhere he's gone from yes. San Fran to Washington and now um, in Houston with a team that 
people were like, you know, well, you guys are going to get all the hate because of the whole cheating thing. He took on a challenge. He turned that culture back around to a positive culture. And those guys are like, well, we don't care if you like us or not. We're just trying to win a championship. So shout outs to Dusty, like you said. Dusty doesn't get, I don't even hear about Dusky, Dusty Prey. So shout outs to Dusty for, yeah. for doing his thing, brother. I had to mention that. Yeah. So um, how many games do you think this ALCS goes with the Yankees and, and um, Yankees and, um, I got them winning five. I think it'll be four one. I want to say five. I think the Yankees could sneak a game out. I, I think who wins tonight? If the Astros win tonight, I'm gonna say five. Yeah. If they if they end up winning that game, I'm gonna say five because I think the pitching they're they're getting pitching travels. Like Zach Wheeler for the Phillies went into San Diego last night and pitched a shutout. They shut yeah. him out two yep. nothing, seven innings, eight strikeouts. Pitching travels. Like you might not be able yep. to to get home home field advantage and all that stuff, but when you have the ball in your hand, you control literally the entire stadium, whether you pitch well or whether you stink it up and they boo you out the arena. So um, yeah, I think I think I'm a, I'm gonna go six on the safe side. Um, okay, just so Yankee fans don't kill me if they win, because you know they they're gonna listen to this and be um, having receipts from me like they did last week with the football predictions <laughs> coming for all of our neck, yo. Everybody sending me, I know what I know. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Y'all do that to Stephen A. Smith when he wrong? <laughs> Leave me alone, brothers and sisters. Right. 